since I've actually done a makeup video but uh, as you all can see we done changed locations okay and I didn't really have a choice in the matter because half my house is under construction I've kind of told y'all periodically and y'all know if you guys follow me on the vlog channel what we've been going through so that's the reason why you haven't seen a makeup video from your girl in a while because I literally had to take down my entire makeup vanity area in my master bedroom which is where I always shoot my shit so that's kind of had to make me kind of get a little creative with where I decide to shoot my videos. Now I know a lot of y'all have been wanting me to do my makeup review videos in this room right here, okay? Now I'm still experimenting with light, okay? And still experimenting with everything, especially because I've got so much going on. Y'all know we're getting ready for the babies, for the twinsies, okay? But I did want to pop in and I wanted to do a makeup video. We're going to test the lighting out and see how it works. It's a little later on in the dizzy, which is why the lighting is a little bit dimmer right now, okay? Plus, it's hot for your girl, okay? So, please excuse me as these next few videos are experimentation, all right? With lighting and all of that shit. So, we may do some in natural daylight. We may do some with a different camera. We might go a little brighter with the light. But, again, it's going to be a work in progress, okay? Another thing, disregard the nails because your girl's been picking up tile and shit y'all know the deal okay and without further ado we gonna get started on this motherfucking makeup review video i have been missing these videos like a motherfucker your girl's been sick and today happened to be one of them days that i was feeling a little bit better so i thought i would come in okay and bless y'all with a makeup review make sure while y'all are sitting here to go ahead and thumbs up this motherfucking video okay and if you guys have not subscribed yet to this channel, what the fuck are you waiting on? Go ahead and subscribe to welcome yourself into the fam bam, okay? We have a lot of fun up and through here. And this video is one of many makeup videos in my makeup review first impressions playlist. I've pretty much reviewed pretty much damn near every foundation makeup product on the damn market. Okay, so if you're in the market for anything in particular, your girl will give you the full honest review on said product and a full day showcasing of said product as well, okay? Well, you will learn everything from the rooter to the motherfucking to them. Okay, so the makeup product we're gonna be doing a first impressions video on is this motherfucker right here. Bam! The Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick, okay? You guys know this is pretty daggone new on the market. It's one of the newer foundations. I would have come out with this a lot sooner had it not been for my house being under construction. So I promise y'all we're going to be coming out with more makeup videos. Like I said, we're going to experiment a little bit with everything to see how we can get everything going lighting-wise, okay? So be patient with me as we do this. However, I've been wanting to test this out because it's been getting so much motherfucking hype on the YT. Y'all know I love to test products out that had been sent to all the other motherfuckers on YouTube because you know they don't send me shit. <laughs> we ain't mad though. But for real, for real, y'all know everything that I pretty much show y'all, I pretty much buy my damn self, which it's not any different with this motherfucker right here. Your girl done bought this bad boy from Sephora. This particular product is a stick foundation. You guys know I haven't done a stick foundation in a very long time and it seems like everybody's coming out with stick foundations. And like I said, this one's been getting a lot of hype a lot of youtubers have been getting the entire collection of every color of this particular foundation and supposedly this is the next thing better than sliced bread you feel me so this particular product retails for four to six dollars at Sephora that's how much I done paid for this bad boy okay and uh, as well as on the hourglass site but where I would recommend you get it from if it ends up that we end up liking this product is for show at Sephora because as you guys already know I always give y'all the hook up on air thing that'll save you some coin and y'all know right now right now Ebates if you're not familiar the link is at the top of the description box you need to go ahead and get yourself an Ebates account using the link so you can get yourself some free money boo boo okay but right now Sephora is doing 8% double Okay, 8% cash back on anything you buy. So if there's anything that you're looking to replenish at Sephora, if you want to buy this bad boy right here, or anything that you buy from Sephora Beauty Wise, they are doing 8% cash back, which means you'll get 8% of whatever you purchase back on the quad or the PayPal account or whatever the hell you designate you want that money to come back to. In addition to the fact that if you open up an account using the link down below, you will get a free $10 gift card to be used towards the purchase of a future product. Okay, and you can select where you want that particular product to be purchased from for that $10 gift card, okay? So get you some free money, boo-boo, in addition to the fact that you'll get cash back, all right? So definitely, if you're gonna go check it out, get it at Sephora. I will leave the link for this as well down below for y'all to check out. Now, being that this particular foundation 
retails for $46, okay? It's kind of on the higher price. You know what? It ain't even counted. It's on the higher price side of foundation. So I'm expecting a lot from this motherfucker. Plus, y'all know Hourglass as a whole is kind of on the pricier side of things. This is my very first product I have ever reviewed and done a first impressions on for, uh, from Hourglass. Probably because of the price. <laughs> but y'all know because it's been getting so much hype, I had to try it out. Now, if I were to compare this as far as the price to any other products that you would probably be already familiar with that I've actually done reviews on, these are kind of the two that are right on the outside of the, the price of this particular product, okay? We've got our favorite Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This retails for $43 at Sephora. And we've got our Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation, which you guys know is another Holy Grail foundation of mine. And this retails for $48 at Sephora as well. So the Hourglass Foundation is right in between those two motherfuckers. This foundation has 26 shades total, okay? The color that I actually got my foundation in is in Chestnut, which is the second to last deepest darkest shade the deepest shade being espresso okay now that's as as I'm shooting right now so if these motherfuckers come out with another color since I done shot this motherfucker don't be commenting in my shit down below talking about being just five more shades when I shot this video espresso was the deepest darkest shade but there are 26 shades total and Espresso is the deepest, darkest shade. So I got the second to last shade. Thankfully for me, I was actually able to go ahead and swatch it out in the stove. You will also find that along with the brush that you technically are supposed to use with this motherfucker that costs the exact same price as the damn foundation, the brush itself being 46 motherfucking dollars, bitch. Y'all know I didn't buy that motherfucker. So we gonna use something very similar to it when I finally do show you what it looks like on my face. Another couple of things about this foundation is that this foundation is supposed to be long wearing. It is supposed to be full coverage, okay? It's supposed to have the fluidity of a liquid foundation and it's supposed to pretty much be light setting like a powder foundation. It is even supposed to give you the coverage of a concealer, so technically I didn't need to conceal. I did conceal under my eyes as you guys know, but when I show you guys these first impressions videos, y'all know I always set my face and prep my face the same way that I would for any other foundation I would put on my face. So I I always use concealer because y'all know I got all that grayness and all them extra lines and wrinkles under my eyes. So I always use my Holy Grail concealer, which I will leave linked down below, okay, as well as anything else I put on my face today. The last and final thing about this foundation as I go ahead and open it is that it's supposed to also be Wattel proof. Here is what the actual container looks like. As you guys can see, a very slick container in a triangular shape, okay? And basically, as you guys know, I haven't tried it out. This is the very first time we're trying it out today. And this is just to give you guys an idea, okay, of the color of said foundation. Let me go ahead and swatch this on my skin so y'all can see that as well. Boom. Okay, I didn't do too bad with picking my color. There it is right there. Very easy to swipe. Okay, so it's not as chalky feeling as other stick foundations that I've tried out. Now what we gonna go ahead and do, since I didn't buy the $4 to $6 brush, y'all know I ain't gonna buy that shit, okay? We just gonna be keeping it real on this motherfucker. Y'all know how I do. So we gonna go ahead and use a, a fire glass makeup brush. You know, a fake ass hourglass makeup brush. So we're going to use something real similar. The good thing is, is that I went into the stove and I tested out the actual brush itself. It's just as dense as the brush that was in the stove. Okay, so this is what we're going to use to spread that foundation all over my face, all right? So you're supposed to pretty much take the little triangular thing. I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys up a little closer. Hold on. Hey, boo. Okay. So, I wanted to get you guys up close and personal. One, because we're testing out the focus on this motherfucking camera. And two, so you can actually see what I'm trying to cover up. Because you guys know I'm always talking to you guys about the hyperpigmentation I have on my face. It's lightened as of late because I've been using some other products on my skin. I will talk to you guys about that later on in the next month or so. However, you can still see it on my face. So let me go ahead and put my hair back. <laughs> Excuse the naps. <laughs> so here we go. Here is where... I've got hyperpigmentation from some ingrown hairs, some scarring, other things that I'll explain to you guys in a future video. Let's go ahead and see how this bad boy looks on the face. So here we go. We're just going to stripe it out, just like I see in the little demo. Here's the color. And it feels really soft on the skin, y'all. That's just off the top. Boom. Okay, not too bad. Y'all know it's kind of in between seasons right now. We're heading into the fall and the winter where I'm going to lighten up a little bit. And the rest of my body hasn't really caught up to my face yet. So we're going to try to make this work as best as possible since I got this when I was a little darker in the skin. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Boom. 
all right real quick you have to be real careful because this is such a soft foundation you guys see I've already kind of broken tip and you don't ever want to break the tip on anything especially sexual I mean makeup wise okay so as you guys can see, I done broke the tip off on my damn nose, all right? So just be careful, don't apply it too hard. So this is what it looks like on the face. It actually kinda does match the rest of my skin because as you guys can see, I have a lot more red up here in my decollete than I do on my face, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and use my little hourglass foundation brush and we're just gonna do this in a swirling motion to blend this in my skin. So here we go. It seems really, really blendable. I'm using my mirror a little bit because I got some of that foundation on my nose where I told you that I broke that tip. Now I'm applying it extremely full coverage, although it's boasting a full coverage foundation. However, when I looked on the site, you could also kind of lighten it up. You don't have to necessarily layer it like I'm doing right now, but y'all know I like to wear my foundations full coverage when I show them to y'all, since there are some of you that may have more to cover up. So we're gonna use it full coverage. No smell whatsoever so far from what I see. Boom! Okay, so this is how it looks after it's been blended. This doesn't promise any kind of matte finish or whatever the case may be. Really just boasts that it's supposed to be long wearing it's supposed to be comfortable on the skin and it's supposed to have that full coverage feel and that look so let me go ahead and pull you in a little closer so you can see whether it actually did cover up the hyperpigmentation on my face all right here it is as you guys can see yeah it actually covered it up you guys like I said I actually got this foundation when I was darker in the face I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my powder and do the rest of my face like I normally would and I'll be back boom this is what the finished product looks like and I'm looking in the viewfinder hopefully it is all in focus if not I promise y'all it's gonna get better y'all know I'm just experimenting right however from what I can see in the viewfinder in the mirror bitch hourglass is popping right now you feel me now if you guys want to know what I put on my face I will leave all the links for those items down below including the lippy that I'm rocking on my lip it is a newer lippy a newer matte liquid lippy that I'm testing out so check it out down in the description box along with everything else that I mentioned it from this video okay in the essence of saving time but bitch look how beautiful this foundation is coming across y'all y'all know the dealio just as in every first impressions video we gonna do the same thing with this one and rock this motherfucker for some good ass hours okay and then come back and give y'all my final thoughts on everything from the rooter to the motherfucking tuna bitch we gonna see if this you know porcelain chocolate or brown skin lasts but bitch so far so motherfucking good bitch okay take one last look before I giz out and then when I come back, we gonna discuss and see how the fuck this worked out, okay? Let go. Six hours later. Boom! I'm back, bitches! Y'all miss me? Okay! So, here is my motherfucking face. After several hours of where, okay? Do y'all see how fucking amazing this fucking foundation looks? I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, my motherfucking ass is floored as fuck. Did not think a stick foundation could ever look like this for real. And the stick foundations that I've tried before have been so chalky and so harsh and just a lot more drying on the skin than this has been. And do y'all see the flawlessness in this beautifully brown melanin infused ass skin, bitch? Look at this shit, hold up. Let me bring y'all closer, bam, okay? Do y'all see how fucking gorgeous this foundation is after I've worn it? Now, disregard the lippy, okay? Look, your girl done ate, she done drank, and all that shit. Y'all know lippies only last for so long. However, the foundation, bitch! Look at this. Still got the blush. Still have my hyperpigmentation covered. Still feels amazing on the skin. This foundation is fucking everything, like... I am literally floored at how it looks, okay? So, a couple of quick things, all right? Number one, okay? Y'all know I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the pros and the motherfucking cons, okay? Number one, as you guys can see, as far as the longevity is concerned, I have been wearing this for at least six hours. Y'all know I don't really go past that amount of hours rocking foundation on my face, okay? As in, as most people, you know what I'm saying? I have also not touched up my face. I should also make mention of that. And you guys know I'm under a lot of bright as fuck ass lights. 
and I also perspire on my face, which I have been perspiring even more now because a bitch is pregnant, okay? So it has actually been able to just get through and push through despite the fact that I haven't put any additional powder on my face as well as the fact that my motherfucking ass has been perspiring all on my T-zone area, more specifically on my nose. So we're gonna go ahead and go through what the fuck they told us this motherfucker was supposed to do. Number one, they said this is supposed to be a long wearing foundation. And honestly, y'all, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. So far, it seems long wearing as fuck to me, especially. More so because it is a stick foundation. It gets even more kudos because it is a stick foundation. Y'all know stick foundations are kind of funny, okay? So that's number one. Number two, as far as its coverage is concerned, it also says that it's a full coverage foundation. I would absolutely agree. I also agree that it's very, very, very much buildable. And y'all saw how much of it I put on my face. I put it on as if I was really trying to cover up every motherfucking possible blemish on my motherfucking face, okay? But just know that you can be lighter handed and you should be able to apply it with no problem, very lightly, with no problem. Now, do I think that you need that 46 motherfucking dollar brush that they said you might need to have to be able to apply this motherfucker on your skin bitch hell to the motherfucking no okay any brush that has some dense soft bristles will do just fine there are several different types of brushes i would probably recommend that would be really great to be able to blend this foundation in one of my absolute favorite brushes and this is not as dense as the one i was just using is the sephora uh this is the actual what is it called the airbrush okay that's one that I think would do amazing to for you know blending in this particular foundation the other kind that I have and this is new to me is one of the morphe brushes so I will leave links down below for any brushes that I feel would do well with this foundation another couple of brushes that I would say would be great for blending these in if you want an even smaller brush for more precision would be the FB05 brush from Sedona Lace you guys know I love these types of brushes especially the pink uh, synthetic brushes so I'll leave all links for brushes down below as well that I would recommend would do very very well with this foundation because it is an extremely blendable foundation which is another thing that they also boast but yes honey save your coin on that $46 motherfucking brush y'all don't need that shit now as far as the skin types that I would recommend check out this foundation here is the only thing that I would say if you have oilier skin remember this is not a matte foundation you saw that there's still a little bit of a sheen to my face after you apply it now keep in mind I did mattify my foundation with my usual mattifying powder okay so I have that link down below if you guys want to know what mattifying powder I'm using okay however if you do have oilier skin okay especially if it's severely oily I wouldn't necessarily rush to spend four to six dollars on a stick foundation because this foundation is probably gonna be a little bit um, harder to get to stay matte on your face or to stay in this in this capacity on your face without it looking oily or cakey okay so the oilier the skin the more I would say to abstain from this foundation now combination skin types I think could get away with this however be aware of the fact that you will probably need to use some kind of mattifying primer underneath and maybe a mattifying spray a setting spray just to make sure that it stays in place but if you have severely oily skin I would really say to stay away from the stick foundation now for normal skin even dry skin this is actually very hydrating surprisingly I would definitely say this is a great foundation for y'all. Honestly, the only thing that I would honestly say outside of the fact that I don't think very oily skin types can do well with this foundation is the price point. The price point for this fucker sucks balls. I ain't even gonna lie. Even though it is fucking gorgeous, this is literally probably going to be one of my holy grail foundations. This fucker is the shit. Would I buy this motherfucker again even though the price point is motherfucking ridiculous as fuck? Hell yeah! This foundation looks, look at this fucking face! It looks fucking amazing and this would also be a very good foundation especially as we're getting into the fall and the winter, okay? So I don't know y'all, this might be a leap that y'all might have to take if you can find your color, okay? The other thing of course that I always say is I wish they had more colors in the deeper skin tones. Do they have some? Yes. Do they have a darker skin tone than this particular color here? Yes. Okay, so they have one more that's deeper and darker than this, so that's a good thing, that's a good thing. So if you're darker than me, and y'all know I'm an NW45 in MAC, okay, for the most part, you may be able to find your shade if you're a little darker than me, okay? However, outside of the price point being really, really, really high, and me not recommending it to anybody that's super duper oily, 
I would definitely say this is a motherfucking go, bitch. I am floored at how beautiful and amazing this fucking foundation is. And I would buy this motherfucker again. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And do you, the only other thing I would say, too, on top of that is be careful when you're putting this on. You can easily break the tip. Y'all don't want to break no kind of tips off of nothing, especially if it's 46 motherfucking dollars. Another thing I would definitely say is make sure... You sign up for Ebates. If you plan to buy this foundation, buy it at Sephora so you can get some money back. Get your 8% cash back and anything else that they offer. All of those links are down below. And if you use the Ebates link that's at the top of the description box, you will get a $10 gift card, okay, for free 99. So get on the Ebates link that's down in the description box so that you can save you some coin on this foundation because, again, it is pricey as fuck. Y'all, I am... Ooh. <laughs> Don't laugh at my motherfucking fan, bitch. Okay, we in another room. All my shit's boxed up, and this is all we got, okay? Yes. Yes, bitch. Hourglass, bitch. Yes. It's not giving me the air I need because it's a small fan, but whatever. Anyway, y'all know the deal. Holla at your girl down below. Let me makeup products you guys want me to do first impressions on battle of the brands with etc etc let me know what you guys want to see in my next makeup video comment down below and let me know if you guys have checked out this foundation and if you are going to purchase this foundation after seeing this first impression so many of you guys have been on my ass telling me bitch if you don't get on that hourglass and let me know what the fuck you think and uh, all these YouTubers saying that this shit's the shit, they they ain't lying to shit. It's the shit. I'm going to give props to Hourglass for this shit, okay? This right here ain't getting tossed nowhere. In fact, I'm going to be using this sparingly because I, shit, $46 is a lot of money, okay? So, yes, y'all, make sure you guys thumbs up the video if you love seeing these videos from your girl. Of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that motherfucking subscribe button. It is free 99 and welcome to the fam bam. Of course, what's up to my old heads that have been here from the begin. And y'all already know what to do. As always, follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash socialize Sandy. Hit me up on my Facebook fan page or my Pinterest page. Those links are down below. Hit me up on my blog, thesocialitelife.com. And hit me up on Instagram, Periscope, and Snapchat at socialize Sandy, S-A-N-D-E. And you already know I love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.